countries in Europe have confirmed cases, most of those patients having traveled to Italy. The Trump administration today was trying to bring calm to both the panic and the economic markets. It's not a matter of if they are saying it's a matter of when. Without knowing it, I would now enter into one of the most unusual years yet. Being in quarantine was new to everyone, and no one really knew how to deal with it properly. I went from being a full-time student crammed with work to now having more free time than I could have ever imagined. But what was that to do with all of it? It didn't take me long <laughs> to decide on a few ideas. I started to pick up old hobbies like drawing and even cooking. But of course, it wasn't too long before my pastimes became just that. I was now stuck with the realization that maybe this quarantine wasn't so temporary after all. Until we got the green lights to start going out again. And boy, was I happy. Our town officials allowed small social gatherings and people to leave their houses in order to enjoy the wonderful summer weather. I felt like I was finally getting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I was so excited, I had completely forgotten one big thing. We now all had to wear masks in order to uphold social distancing. But of course, I didn't really mind, just as long as I got to go outside. But before I knew it, a lot of restrictions were put in place, and my life started to become just one big routine. And it was a routine I had no control over and I couldn't get out of. My senior year was nothing I could have ever imagined it to be. It would have been filled with heartfelt memories of my friends and I on senior ditch day, parties, picnics, field trips, it was now limited to just days wasted away on my computer. It was in these moments that I started to lose hope. This was never going to change. I was never going to get my own life back. I miss my family, my friends. I started to lose sight of what I once knew. Winter didn't seem any better. The days grew shorter and the nights grew longer. Never would I have imagined how far we'd come. But just at the right moment, a light shimmered at the end of the tunnel. This morning, new hope for a coronavirus vaccine as Oxford University prepares to release new data on human trials today. Researchers reportedly believe they've developed a vaccine that gives double protection. There was hope. There was a cure. 